Hi, here's another eBay find. This uh, CDU type thing, which is believed to be from an RAF Nimrod, but I'm not really sure. Uh, there's nothing really to prove that. I have actually powered this thing on. It does actually work, which I'll show you right now. Now, I have actually tried to reverse engineer it. It does have an RS422 port on it, but fortunately there's no signals on it. And I've connected the uh, oscilloscope directly to the UART chip, and there's still no signals on that either, so unfortunately I'm not able to get it to do anything. But I've done some EEPROM dumps as well. But I'll just show you what's inside it. Right, well, here's the power supply board. Not really much to that. Quick look inside. I have done some waveform captures on the back panel as well. It appears to have a line scan frequency of 15625 kHz, which is the same for a power TV. Although clearly it's not a, a power video signal going to the CRT. Here's the front cover removed. Three circuit boards. Yeah, the CPU board there, video processor board there, and that's obviously the CRT scan board. Now I say it's got 15625 kilohertz wine scan rate, which is quite interesting. Uh, it's a shame I can't get it to do anything. Either it's knackered, or it needs some sort of configuration jumper setting. Looking at the firmware ROMs, there's a couple of options you need to set on the back panel but the catcher on the back panel isn't numbered so I don't know which is pin 1, which is pin 2 etc. I'll just pull these boards out. Right, this is the processor board. Got an analog to digital converter. Or is it a digital to analog converter? I can't remember. Uh, then you've got your two RS422 drivers and receivers. These two here, your UART chip, these two test points TP3, TP2, your transmit and receive, and the UART TP6 is ground. Uh, put this oscilloscope directly onto them, and there's no signals at all, even at boot up. 
uh, you got RAM chip EEPROM which I've pulled out and dumped which I'll show where to yeah PIA any Motorola 6809 CPU that's a program logic device let's put that label off Power 16 CL8. I was hoping this would have any serial ports on it. It's just purely a serial device, there's no mil 1553 interface or R-Ink interface on it. I was hoping I'd better do something with it, but unfortunately, despite a lot of uh, hours of playing around with it, I haven't been able to get any data out of it at all. Not to get it to respond to commands. I think this one will be going straight back on eBay. Anyway, I'll put an export out. Right, this is the video processor board. Put it right up. Motorola 6802 CPU. Two more ROMs which I've dumped. Uh, your glue logic, another uh, programmable logic device. It's all LS logic. And then finally down here, you got some uh, RAM, RAM chips. Uh, two one one four is. So I think that gives you what eight kilobytes? Is it maybe or two kilobytes? The output of this thing obviously isn't composite video, but the test point there it could be. The trouble is, you can't get access to the circuit board whilst it's operating to measure any waveforms. It's interesting, it's 15625 kHz scan rate, which is the same as the European TV scan rates. It's a monochrome display, so you'll likely just have your eyes on it on vertical scanning your video. Hmm. Now, as, just, as for this uh, CRT board, there's no indication on there what sort of video interface it uses. Um, I was going to pull it all apart, but. I don't think I'll go that far, this is really just a quick video. But I think this device is going straight back on eBay. It looks like somebody's had a go at it before me because they've marked up the uh, voltage rail on the inside. Probably got to the same conclusion I did. But I say I don't know where it's come from or what it's out of. This is no information on the internet. If anyone doesn't know anything about it, let me know. Right, so I'll show you the EEPROM dumps and the uh, waveforms I managed to capture on the back. 